Silverback Gorilla versus Pantanel Jaguar. Who would win in an epic brawl? Both of these creatures are considered pound for pound some of the strongest living mammals. They do live on separate continents, with a jaguar living in South America and the gorilla living in Africa. So, the interactions between these two mighty beasts would not take place in the wild. Regardless, let's explore a theoretical fight scenario. For this video, we'll examine the topics of physique, dexterity, and weaponry to determine who is a true king of the rainforest. And before we begin, feel free to voice your opinions in the comments, but remember to be respectful. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content about the natural world. With that being said, let's get this video started. Size and Physique the silverback gorilla is the largest and strongest of the living primates, which comes to no surprise given its physique. It's evident that gorillas do not skip chest or arm days. Their muscular upper body provides them with the strength to climb trees with ease, roam around their rough terrain, and of course for brawling purposes. In addition to that, gorillas have a massive arm span that measures around 8 feet in length in mature individuals. In fact, their arms dwarf the size of their legs, causing them to remain quadrupedal most of the time. This type of locomotion possesses many benefits that we will discuss later on in this video, like increased speed. But regardless, if the gorilla misses a few leg days, they are still one bulky primate. A typical eastern lowland gorilla weighs around 400 pounds and stands between 5.5 to 6 feet tall. These primates are characterized by their solid frame and sparse hairs covering their back and upper body. But, there is one aspect of the gorilla we should take note of, which is their human-like flesh. Their skin, just like humans and other primates, is tightly wrapped around their muscles. This means that it's relatively susceptible to sharp objects and is easy to rip apart. Having that attribute makes blood loss a prevalent option when fighting an animal with sharp claws. Nevertheless, they're still regarded as the top dogs of the African lowland rainforest. Well, if not for leopards, that is. If there's any creature that pisses off a gorilla the most, it has to be the African leopard. They have a blood-boiling rivalry that spans over the course of millions of years. Leopards often hunt young or sick gorillas, and are pretty successful in doing so. This is because they like to ambush them at night when the silverback's guard is down. However, in the light of day and in a head-on fight, a leopard would avoid direct confrontation due to the huge size disparity. Having said all that, a silverback would be a powerful contender for any creature in its weight class. However, if it's leopards that gorillas hate, how about its larger and stronger cousin, which is the Pantanel Jaguar? This beast is the largest cat in the Americas and the third largest cat in the world. It stealthily roams its terrain in the Pantanel region of South America as the alpha of its terrain. Anything is on the menu for this panthera to include ungulates, fish, and caiman. This spotted hunter is also no slouch when it comes to power. It's capable of hunting animals double its size, as well as climbing trees with ease. With all its majestic attributes, you must be thinking, how large is this big cat? A typical mature male Pantanel Jaguar averages around 210 pounds and stands about 2.5 feet tall on all fours. So, how does that compare to the Silverback Gorilla? The primate has an obvious weight and height advantage in this matchup, but the Jaguar is a smaller target to hit, along with having a more acrobatic build. Jaguars are stocky and very muscle dense, supported by a sturdy bone structure. In fact, they are pound for pound the most robust living felid. These Pantheras have yellowish brown fur with a dotted rosette pattern that helps them blend into their tropical environment. In addition to that, one thing to note about the Jaguar is that it has loose fitting fur. This helps them twist and move around when getting bit. In fact, one can argue that having fur is a great advantage compared to the exposed skin of the gorilla. Fur does not rip as easily as flesh. So, 
taking all that into consideration, on the topic of which creature has a better physique and defense, I would say they both are equal in this regard. Yes, the gorilla has an unignorable size advantage, but the jaguar has fur, which is superior to flesh, that could likely close the gap in overall defense. So, they both could likely take a similar amount of damage. However, how would dexterity play into this type of confrontation? That brings me on to my second point, which is speed and agility. Since a silverback is the brawniest of the living apes, it's no surprise that they are also quite fast. Gorillas are said to sprint up to 25 miles per hour in short bursts. Just for reference, that's as fast as an Olympic sprinter. However, what makes them unique from humans is the way they move around. Gorillas roam their lush territory by wandering on all fours most of the time. This type of locomotion is called knuckle walking, and it's prevalent in our phylogenetic relatives. It possesses many benefits like conserving energy, faster top speeds, and a more developed upper body. However, gorillas go bipedal on occasion in order to pick up objects and intimidate their enemies. On top of that, despite a silverback's large size, they are surprisingly agile. They have a decent turn radius and can climb very well. But, can their speed match up to a big cat's? If there is any group of animals that are known to be fast, it has to be the felids. And you better believe the Pantanel Jaguar is no outlier. They have to be quick and stealthy in order to secure a meal. In fact, Jaguars have been known to reach top speeds of around 50 miles per hour. Also, these spotted killers are master hunters who know their terrain by the back of their paws. They too can also climb trees with little efforts and are even great swimmers. Jaguars can also leap great distances and turn on a dime. Along with that, the main way they like to hunt is by lunging onto their prey's back and side. This method of fighting could prove useful in a confrontation with the bulkier and larger gorilla. Also, it's pretty evident that the general build of felids are much more adapted for quick, swift movements compared to primates. So, when regarding the aspect of speed and agility, I would have to award the jaguar a point. Don't get me wrong, gorillas are decently nimble for a creature of its size. However, the panthera is simply more acrobatic, along with it having less weight to carry around. And sure, having an agility advantage would be a nice trait, but it wouldn't mean much if you can't inflict crippling wounds to your opponent. That brings me on to my final point, which is weaponry and fighting experience. Gorillas are no doubt very strong and capable beings, with their strength dwarfing the average person's. But, just because they are humanoid does not mean they can do the same tasks. In fact, if you think a silverback can punch, then you'd be incorrect. They're incapable of making fists, so it's hard to scale their fighting ability. However, when they duke it out with their rivals, they tend to favor the fighting methods of clubbing, pushing, and wrestling. In addition to that, gorillas have poor control over their individual muscles, which means that when they do simple tasks like lifting, they tend to use their whole arm. This is different from humans, where we can target selected muscles like the biceps. This translates to gorillas having an overall stronger strike, but it will not be as accurate compared to us. However, we should consider the silverbacks huge hands when they fight. Getting hit by one of them could definitely deal a lot of blunt force, similar to a hammer. Furthermore, the primate's lengthy arms would provide a good range advantage against the jaguar. Along with their bulky upper body, gorillas also have a strong bite, with it allegedly reaching up to 1300 psi. Wait, 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 hold up. Does anybody actually know where this number comes from? No? Well, I actually found a study that calculated the strength of a gorilla's bites 
which came to around 4067 joules or 914 psi. Just for reference, that's 5 times greater than a human's bite. Even assuming that it can produce 1300 psi doesn't mean much in terms of damage output. For starters, their snout is very flat and pressed against their skull. A gorilla's dentistry is also very ineffective at stabbing through muscle, let alone killing. This is because it's adapted for an herbivorous diet. If the gorilla were to try and bite the jaguar, it would put it in a compromising position due to it having to get really close in order for it to land. However, if we're talking about bite effectiveness, the Jaguar is no slouch in this category. In fact, they have one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom, with it reaching up to 1500 psi. Just for reference, that's 8 times stronger than what a human can produce, and is even strong enough to crunch through a person's femur. On top of that, a Jaguar's whole mouth is designed for killing. Inside their jaws are razor sharp teeth crafted for a carnivorous diet, with their canines growing up to 2 inches in length. Perhaps one of the most unique attributes of this spotted assassin is their method of killing. Unlike other wild cats, which use a suffocation method of taking down prey, jaguars favor biting through the skull of their victims. This distinctive technique is enabled by their jaw being able to open up at a much wider angle than any other big cat. Having the ability to bite through a skull assists them in hunting in their tropical environments where they can leap off trees and elevated grounds. Along with their terrifying bites, jaguars have sharp, retractable claws that can easily rip through the hide of their prey. The felid's weaponry will undoubtedly prove very effective against the silverback's human-like flesh. So, for the topic of weaponry and fighting knowledge, I would have to award them both a point. The gorilla would have the reach advantage, along with more raw strength compared to the felid. Also, silverbacks would be no stranger to this type of confrontation since they have to deal with leopards in their territory. Meanwhile, the jaguar has sharp claws, a devastating bite, and predatory intuition that would enable it to instinctively go for the kill shots. With all that being said, it's now time to determine the verdict. Alright, we have our stats. So, who would win in a fight between an eastern lowland gorilla and a pantanel jaguar? Let's say this fight takes place in a rainforest. This would be a very hard fought brawl, but I think the pantanel jaguar would squeak in a win majority of the time. I'm not gonna lie, it was difficult coming up with a verdict since they both seem pretty evenly matched. However, we do gotta acknowledge the Jaguar's advantages in this brawl. For starters, it has an obvious edge in speed and agility. It could likely outmaneuver the bulky gorilla and leap onto its back or side. And sure, the silverback could shrug off the first attack, but they all add up in the long run, especially when concerning the inevitable blood loss. The jaguar's claws and teeth would also be very problematic for the gorilla. The felid would continuously rake wounds into the rippable flesh of the silverback, causing heavy muscular damage, drainage of body fluids, and a loss in stamina. Along with that, the jaguar is a natural-born predator who is used to hunting struggling prey and going for the kill shot quickly. Its unique trait of skull biting would prove very effective in this fight. The gorilla has an elongated skull, which is exposed to attacks from the above, making the pantanel jaguar inherently exploit that weakness. Overall, it would be a very demanding fight for the both of them, but I think the jaguar would reign victorious more often than not. Thank you so much for watching this video, and feel free to check out my other content.